This is Travis with Invictus Gymnastics, and we're going to talk about the length of a kipping swing for a bar muscle-up. The length of the kipping swing can vary from person to person. Just to put it out there, there's not a one-size-fits-all type uh, situation for the kipping swing. So I'm showing you basically three different options to see if it can help you find which one works best for you. We have the short kipping swing, we've got the medium kipping swing, and we've got the long kipping swing. The short kipping swing, we're going to consider short because it takes up a smaller amount of space from this first straight body position to the second straight body position. The medium swing, you can assume, is going to be a little bit, little bit larger. It's going to go from a straight body position more beneath the bar, and then the second straight body position after going from the loading position will be further out, so there will be a bigger slice of the pie here. And then the bigger kipping swing, the large kipping swing, it's going to start back here and finish out here. Now I know that the camera view for this is a little bit odd, but uh, we're going to try to use this so you can see the straight body positions in between. I'm going to start with the short kipping swing, no bar muscle up, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Do keep in mind that we use the drill, the target reach swing, whereas I would take a, say a, a plate, a weightlifting plate, set it on the floor in front of the bar, and depending on the bar height, I may need to adjust it further or closer. But the target reach swing starts here and reaches out toward that target. That target's going to move depending on which length of swing you're doing for the kip. So with the short kipping swing, we're going to have that plate theoretically moved further out away from the bar. That's going to cause my body to come out to a straight position further out in front of the bar than the other swings. And in return, it's going to be a faster exchange from the loading position into the air chair or bar muscle up. So that's it. I went through two straight body positions. First one, I reached my feet out, went through here. I didn't have a chance to get into a large loading position and it had to be really quick. So it does depend on how fast you can react to this. So going into the air chair swing from the small kipping swing. It's quite the quick movement. Now the medium kipping swing. I'm gonna start with the same positioning just back here behind the bar, but when I jump, I'm going to allow my body to straighten out a little bit earlier. This is why I need the camera view from there. So you can see that my first straight body position is going to be more beneath the bar than in front. It's going to give me more swing and time to come out through that loading position, the arch position, and then I can go into that air chair swing. Now this is usually a pretty good option for most people. Uh, the stronger people, shorter kipping swing uh, might be a good option. It just contours to everybody's strengths. Now that was the medium kipping swing. You saw that I straightened out my body beneath the bar. Second time I came through the straight body or close to straight body position is out here. And now the longer kipping swing. If you are a shorter athlete, you may need to use a box. Using the box is very helpful because I can start from here and try to reach my feet back toward the box. When I jump, I'm still gonna do what we call the bad cheerleader jump, sticking my hips out behind with my feet forward, creating a straight line for my hands and my hips. But as my feet start to descend, I'm going to reach them back toward the box. That means that my first straight body position is going to be back here behind the bar. I'm going to slowly move through that arched loading position and then do the air chair swing. Now for a lot of people, this is a little bit too long of a swing. That's okay, shorten it. As you see, there are different lengths of kipping swings that you're going to have to try out on your own and see what best suits you.